So we've looked at a similar problem to this uh, for both quadratics and cubics. Now we have 3z to the 4 plus 2z cubed take away 5z squared take away 7z take away 1 equals 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Find a quartic equation with integer coefficients with roots 4 alpha, 4 beta, 4 gamma and 4 delta. So just as we've done before, we need to get the coefficient of z to the 4 in this case to be 1. So z to the 4 plus 2 thirds z cubed, I'm dividing through by 3, take away 5 thirds z squared, take away 7 thirds z, take away 1 third equals 0. Okay, so that's the first stage. From that, I can say alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is going to be equal to minus 2 thirds. We could also see that alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta, okay, is going to be equal to minus 5 thirds. And alpha beta gamma plus alpha beta delta plus alpha gamma delta plus beta gamma delta is going to be equal to, uh, so, plus 7 thirds. Okay, so minus plus minus, and then alpha, beta, gamma, delta is going to be equal to the minus 1 third. Okay, so we've got those locked in. So now we're going to need, because we're looking at 4 alpha, 4 beta, 4 gamma, 4 delta, we need the sum of those four roots, so 4 alpha plus 4 beta plus 4 gamma plus 4 delta which is just four lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Okay, so that's four lots of minus two-thirds, which is minus eight-thirds. Okay, so that's the first one locked in. Right, then we're going to have uh, four alpha times four beta, so 16 alpha beta. Then 16 alpha gamma plus 16 alpha delta plus uh, 16 beta gamma plus 16 beta delta plus uh, 16 uh, where are we up to uh, so we've got alpha beta alpha gamma alpha delta beta gamma beta delta and then gamma delta is now I'll just pop it there 16 gamma delta one two three four five six yeah that's right isn't it Okay, so that's just 16 lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta. So 16 lots of minus 5 thirds, which is minus 80 thirds. Okay, right, next one. We're going to have 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So 64 alpha, beta, gamma, plus 64 alpha, beta, delta, plus 64 alpha, gamma, delta, plus 64 uh, beta, gamma, delta. So that's 64 lots of alpha, beta, gamma, plus alpha, beta, delta, plus alpha, gamma, delta, plus beta, gamma, delta. And that was 7 thirds, so 64 lots of 7 thirds. Hmm. Not sure I know that one off the top of my head. 64 sevenths, so uh, 64 se times 7 is 448. So we've got 448 over 3. And then finally, the product of the four roots. So uh, we've got 4 alpha times 4 beta times 4 gamma times 4 delta. So... What's that? So 4 to the power of 4, so 256. 256 alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So 256 times by minus 1 third. So that's minus 256 over 3. Right, so my new quartic equation 
will be z to the 4 take away minus 8 thirds z cubed. So plus 8 thirds z cubed. Plus minus 80 thirds z squared. So take away 80 thirds z squared. Take away 448 over 3z plus minus 256 over 3. Now I need to multiply through by 3 to get the integer coefficients. So 3z to the 4 plus 8z cubed take away 80z squared take away 448z take away 256 equals 0. And so this is the quartic equation that has the roots 4 alpha, 4 beta, 4 gamma and 4 delta.